Hello, this is the last video in this series. In this video, we will send the contact information to our email. Last time we finished the basic validation for empty fields and email, but I still want to do one more thing that I forgot next last time before we come to the send email part. That is, we need to clear the form when it is successfully submitted. So let's go ahead and do that. So when this one is successfully submitted, the signal is OK, then we can do a clear form function here. For the input and the text area, clear the forms together with the successful message. Now we are ready to send email. In this project I use PHP Mailer. That is a project from GitHub for email sent. And you can find the GitHub page from Google. To start using it, we need to download it from the page. So you don't need to place all of them. To upload all of them, only something we need. Then we need to include the PHP mailer auto load file in the sendmail.php There is also on the GitHub page an example of the usage so we can go there and copy and then modify it as our needs. I think this is here. So we use SMTP to send email and I use my Google email address to send. In your case, you just change it to your email host and other information. The at address is the address of the recipient, as you can see from here. So I send it to my own address. So it may be a little bit confused here. Let's think it simply like I use my email address to send 
an email to my own email address which contained the information of the contact form and reply to after i received the email i need to reply to the email which is input in the form and the name showing will be the name that people input in the form also so the email is html that means um, in the body if you say something like br then it will make a line break like in html code I like to have here send it so it says there is some error mail errors smtp connect failed hmm. hello guys i have been pausing the video for a while to fight out the errors and mm, it's it seems that i mistake this smtp address because the gmail smtp is smtp.gmail.com so it's not google.com and uh, maybe we also change the subject. Now, if we go back and try it one more time, it's supposed to work. So now it's sent. Perfect. Let's come to my email address and check. So you can see that the form actually reached my email right now. The time is the same. And what it says is name and then message. And if I click the reply, so it will take the add reply to, it takes the email and the name of the sender here. So I'm afraid that is the end of this video and also this series. Thank you for watching and see you next time.